decided to block some ports involving, um, crap, I can English, involving Discord. There we go, brain. And, disc and fun fact, they're infamous for doing this. Because reasons. But they have... Basically, Discord now has to talk to Xfinity Comcast and plead with them to be like, Hey, you have a bunch of ports. You're blocking a bunch of our things. You need to stop that. And Xfinity is kind of sort of an asshole and will go pay us. Because if, as a person who uses Xfinity and has dealt with the Xfinity, Xfinity customer services, I'd rather pull my own teeth out. <laughs> I wouldn't. I can think of much more torturous things to do than vote while giving me physical pain. I'd rather watch a Logan Paul video. I kind of did. But you know well, what? It wasn't I... like watching him directly, but it's more like, you were... I watched. Did you someone watch talk the... about his... Did you watch I Hate Everything's review of the Logan Paul directed movie? Yes. I I'm sitting here going, should I? Because I kept getting recommended to me, and I'm sitting here contemplating, should I watch this? Because I'm sitting here going, because it's either gonna. I mean, it's on I Hate Everything, so it is shit. Well, of course. But then on the other hand, I'm letting. Logan Paul, no, that's I. What I would watch something Logan Paul related that isn't Logan Paul is an asshole news. No, I was just saying you're supporting I hate everything. Valid point. So, um, supporting Logan Paul would be watching his movie. Valid point. So, <laughs> yeah, Tom, I now have to ask, <laughs> how bad is it? Um, okay, I mean, obviously he hates. Let me, let's rephrase this. Is it worse than Cool Cat? <laughs> to be fair, I haven't been keeping track of what his... I don't have access to his um, general list, so to speak. Oh, yeah, the uh, search for the worst movie. No, no, no. I mean... Does it no, sound... I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know his entire rankings, because he's done too many movies at this point. Yes, but, but I mean your personal opinion of the re from the review... Um, well, I know he hates it more than things like the Smosh movie and you know, the other YouTuber stuff like Fuck the Prom. But he likes the original Fred movie more. I mean, the original Fred movie had John Cena in it, therefore. <laughs> therefore. Yeah, but so did the other two. <laughs> Not as much, but you know, actually, I don't know if he even appeared in the third movie. I know he was in the second movie or one line. I don't know either, and I don't want to look it up. Because I have to finish he this art. openly admitted that he hates he has to have a tier list of YouTuber movies on his search for the worst, but what can he do at this point? I didn't know Smosh made a movie. They made two of them, as far as I know. Oh, goody. Okay! Ghost made and that the Smosh movie. So... Who gave Logan Paul the ability to direct, and who do I have to kick in the nads? I do not know. I don't even think Alex said anything about it. Because I don't know, because it sounds like something his fans would do as a fucking Kickstarter. Or... Uh, although, well, when, when in doubt, Google. no, not the Mabinogi wiki. This regular Wikipedia. I hate that this is what it thinks of when I type in wiki. That's why I type Well, in... you go here more. It's like, yeah. That's why I type in Mabinogi wiki instead of wiki. <laughs> Alright. Although uh, if I do type I know... in wiki, I think it thinks I'm currently wanting to look at uh, my Hero Academia wiki because I've been doing a lot of research on that for art projects. Anyway. Let's see, I'm trying to find it. Because I did not know he was making a movie. Mind you, I'm not following Logan Paul. Although I do love someone... Yes, there was a, No, someone apparently retweets one of Logan Paul's tweets going, where do all the... How come all these 10-year-olds have iPhones? And then the response was, isn't... That's basically your fan base. <laughs> going, how else do you get a fan base? <laughs> 
<laughs> basically making fun of Logan Drug. Paul's crappy fan base. Anyway. I wonder if you can get a fan base off hating other people's fan bases. Oh, you can. It's called I Hate Everything. They do a whole coverage of they do a whole coverage on Rick and Morty and how he hates the fan base. Rick and Morty itself he has nothing against. It's the fan base he has an issue with. Okay, so it's airplane mode. <coughs> no, not, not the actual airplane mode sending on your phones and wireless devices. wondering if this because like you would think youtube would advertise the i have ad block on never mind <laughs> my brain just thought maybe you why didn't youtube advertise the crap out of this and then i remember why i didn't see anything wait this isn't even the same one you're th did you accidentally type in airplane movie and it gave you the movie from the 1980s, which is a really good comedy? So are there two movies called Airplane Mode? There's one movie called Airplane, which is a really good parody comedy thing. I highly recommend. And then there is... I'm not thinking. I don't know. Just type in Logan Paul air airplane movie. How hard can that be? Well, I just typed in the actual movie's title. Yeah, maybe you're going to have to put Logan Paul in the title to see if it helps. I might have to, because when I, got it, when I get it regularly on Wikipedia, it tells me it's an upcoming Brazilian comedy film directed by Cesar Rodriguez. Hola, Cesar Rodriguez. We are not looking for your movie. Although we wish your movie is better than the Logan Paul one. I can't believe I'm saying this. Go on to the Logan Paul Wikipedia. I don't hate myself. I don't, I'm like, I hate myself. I would not for saying that. I mean, I already kind of hate myself. Oh, there it is. Found can it. I get, can I just get... Um... I just want a synopsis of this movie. Wait, he appeared in an SVU? Law and Order SVU. Yeah, one of the newer ones. 2015. Newer. Then again, the show's been around a long time. That show has been around for eon. You know what? I haven't even been right here. I'm going... I spelled it wrong. Why don't you just control F airplane? I'm going right to International Movie Database. <laughs> We're breaking out IMDb, which is owned by Twi Amazon. I'd recognize that. I'd recognize that art anywhere. It's a dabbing airplane. Oh, it's a dabbing airplane. Yep, because it's a the original airplane movie had an airplane in a knot. This one has an airplane doing a dab, and it looks like they're wearing sunglasses, but it's just the front window. I'm sorry. Excuse me. So is it supposed to be like a parody of the original airplane movie? Is it supposed to be like the new airplane? Okay, I'm offended already as a fan of the movie Airplane. <laughs> I'm offended already. Tom, if this is an image of the... It's a fucking image of the airplane dabbing, isn't it? Uh -huh. <sighs> I just thought you'd like to see it in all its... You know what's sad? I have seen... Female feminizations of airplanes drawn in a very sexual manner. And this offends me more than that. <laughs> All right. According Tom, to IMDb. Tom, what? this what? offends me more than that. Oh, I'm sure. But even then, it takes a lot to offend me. <laughs> Tom. I think I'm just I'm I'm just so used to the, the shit face of the world that literally I could watch someone die in front of me like that's just normal. Oh, Walk. death! Hold on. That's a shame. Oh well, back to. All right. All right. Let's see. Directed by David Dinette and Dylan. Tr 
uh, has four writers, David Dinetz again, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, and oh. Don Trussell. Oh, I'm glad both Paul brothers got to work on this. That makes me feel better. No, it doesn't. No, no, no. no it doesn't. I don't know any of the people acting in it, but according to what Alex said about it, it's mostly exists to feature in YouTube influencers. Oh, yes, the influencer crowd. Hmm, I'm not following. <laughs> Produced by Andrew Atler, Andrew Burkle. Oh, good, I said that right. Ron Gamer. Burkle. Anna de Diego. Oh, man, what's that wrong? Jeffrey Levin, Jessica Ornstein, and Jonathan Ornstein. I don't know any of you. Me neither, but that's why they're producers. Of course. No, I just think it's funny. Like, people are like, oh, these are the popular members of YouTube. I'm like, I've never heard of any of these people. And then someone points <laughs> out going, well, your section of YouTube is weird. I go, no, it's not. Or the, I'm the part of the artist of YouTube that get completely ignored because we can't quote unquote make money. Cat is bitter right now. Please leave a message. I, I mean, if you want, I don't know. I'll never understand the art universe because I'll never understand. I'll definitely never understand speed paint universe. Hey, that's but, my universe. Like I said, I'll never understand it. Thank you. How is the rated five point four out of ten? What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Tom, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Any movie that's done by an internet personality automatically gets harshly criticized to begin with because they make fun of them if they can't, especially if they can't act. And yet that got a half point? Well, hold on, hold on. Five? Okay, if this is anything like the gaming industry rating system where five really does mean bad and eight means good, and you know, you know what I mean? They don't. I don't know, it's International Movie Database. Someone clearly likes it. Yeah, well, I'm wondering if they use the ranking system similar to, like, the ranking system for video games, where one through four are completely ignored, and they go, like, five is the worst. There are gaming companies that do that. It pisses me off. I'm like, Mm -hmm. then do a five system. I basically invented my own uh, grading system. I do it to judge art, video games, anything I might have seen. Tom, you are never allowed to use that rating system around my art. You're kind of a little late for that. Tom has been doing it for my art because I get commissioned by him. All right. I, I do that for anyone who does me art. It's not just you. I keep that thing <coughs> with him. No, no, no one knows how to find <laughs> Anyway. So, but yeah, um, I, do it, I do it for movies, too. All right. And video games. Tom grabs you. What? What's this movie about? And should I regret asking you that? According to what the the tiny ass description they actually bother to give it, who are the Americans to tra- fly to Australia for the sex and social media? Wait, hold on. Did- Wait, what was that? F- the first two words in that sentence. Who are the Americans? Why are you one doing the Rob Schneider voice? Rob because Schneider voice. Rob Schneider does not deserve this. I'm saying Rob that. Rob Schneider is a dabbing airplane. Rated PG-13. What is this movie rated? TVMA. TVMA. So this was a made-for-TV movie? I don't know. If it's rated TVMA, it's a made-for-TV movie. It's got a lot of boobs in it. Like, a lot of boobs. Like, naked boobs or just cleavage? Tom, there is a difference. Uh, naked boobs. You've seen that. Oh, okay, naked boobs. Yes. There's a sex doll in one scene. That's a sex doll, Tom. No one cares about sex dolls. Oh, yeah, I mean, considering South Park had inflatable Antonio Antonio Banderas in the early season. I miss inflatable Antonio Banderas. I'd fuck it. Anyway. Did you just say I'd fuck it? Yeah, I'd fuck it. You'd fuck a lot of things. Eh, if they live. Uh, will Logan survive his fear of flying? Will the pilot survive <laughs> passengers not using airplane mode? Will anyone survive? You know they can no. kick you off the fu- They can fucking court-martial you f- uh, for not not court-martial. But you'll yeah, get- but it's a comedy. We can't do anything logical. Although I would like to point out that the whole electronics messing with the plane system actually is a myth. They actually, when cell phones were starting to become a thing, they were already working on it. And we're currently at the level where we'll be fine. 
rumor has it it's basically a way to basically get money out of you. Anyway, Tom, what's this movie about? Okay, I had to scroll down, but I found a I found a storyline synopsis. <clears throat> synopsis. En route to the world's lar- yeah, en route to the world's largest social media convention in Australia. <laughs> I'm sorry, the world's largest social media convention in Australia. Tom, I'm sorry. We're ke- I'm recording technically, and I'm keeping the shit in. <laughs> the what? The world's largest social media convention in, in Australia. Australia. No, so is that the world's largest social media convention in Australia, or world's largest social media convention, comma, in Australia? It just says world's largest social media convention in Australia. Not it's, speci- in a- it's specified above that it's in Sydney. But it doesn't Australia. say that here, but it's I'm, totally Sydney, Australia. I'm sorry. Anyone who's ever been to the YouTube conventions no. or any social media conventions, they're all done in L.A. Oh. The biggest, the big ones are in L.A. I can't believe them being done in Australia. Okay, minus RTX. But the RTX Australia ones are fun because they can say the c- word cunt. <laughs> Paul Logan's is scared to go to death. Wait, what? Wait. Let me read that again. Logan Paul is scared to death. <laughs> I was about to say, wow, that's the lamest character name ever. But I wouldn't put it past a YouTube movie maker. Valid point. Valid point. Behold, Today Cat will be critical. Uh, yes, yeah, just giving you a synopsis too. All of his worst nightmares come true when passengers refuse to switch their planes to air. Their planes to phone mode. Okay, let me try that again. When Tom, the passengers you're failing. refuse to switch their Phones to airplane mode, causing the plane's controls to go haywire and electrocuting the pilot. Yeah. I'm sure that's how that works. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to point this out again. Uh, Mythbusters did a whole episode on it. That's a myth. <laughs> Good. The whole admits the chaos. One pu- one puzzurita, Logan's foreign exchange brother, has one, one goal. One. Oh right, he did have he did have his, his people of Hispanic origins in his home, and there was like some racism controversy involving Logan Paul and that. And I go really so shocking. Anyway, oh how- man, it's almost like racism never died. Anyway, he has one goal: to lose his virginity or die trying. It's up to Logan to overcome his fears, defeat a Russian psychopath. What's oh, me on the loose and save the day? Wait, okay. Co-starring a bunch of people you don't know. Okay, wait, okay, 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 hold on, hold on, okay. Sorry, Tom, I have to pause you. So, this movie is about going to Australia. Yeah, Sydney. Them fucking up because they didn't put it in airplane mode. Because lol airplane jokes. And lol internet YouTubers can't get off the internet. And Logan Paul has to get over his fear of flying. They're most likely having some weird Gilligan's Island bullshit happening. And he, his friend is trying to get laid, and the pilot died? I think Logan's trying to get laid, too, not just his friend. Uh, well, of course Logan's trying to get laid. Okay, okay, there's, there's, this is soup. This is, this is plot soup. This is plot I don't exactly. even like soup. <laughs> this is soup. Not even good pizza. soup. Why are we buying? Why are we, why are we trying to buy pants at the soup store? Why? Do, why is there a soup store? Listen, <laughs> I can understand a restaurant that serves, soup, but not a store that serves. It's like, hi, welcome to soup store. How can I help you? Hi, you have any a- soup? Of course, sir. We have all the soup you could ever want. Hi, can I have a can You're of anything awfully sexual about that? Oh, I can get much more soupy if you wish. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> the internet is about to crash and explode. Logan, this punctuation is horrible. Okay, yeah. Well, it's IMDb. That's it's it's basically a user. It's user inputted and is worse. And they're worse on grammar than Wikipedia. Fair warning. So, so as the, at, they list all the names of the YouTube influencer people that they have featured and many more, but instead of at th- end of many more it's a comma and then the internet is about to crash and explode logan knows he will save his family there should be some punctuation in there namely <laughs> the, there should be a period before the 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 internet is about to crash and explore comma and logan knows he will save his family 
Welcome to Tom is a Grammy is a Grammy person. I'm not a Grammy person. I'm actually not even a grammar person. When I know what you wanted to say, why do you think I go to Shrubby for grammar stuff? If anyone's ever wondered how suddenly my writing is very, very punctual and very, very well written, we have a guy friend for that. Yeah, we got Shrub for it. Shrub, Shrub's our editor, <laughs> and by editor, I mean Shrub. I can't write anything. Ah. Uh, Oh, man, user reviews. This is going to be the fun part. No, no, no. No, no. User reviews are for later. Ma user no, I finished what I needed to say. No, but that, Wait, that's it? Yeah. That's it. It ends on bad grammar. Yeah. They, they don't even like to give me a plot synopsis? Okay. I just wrote you the plot synopsis. Well, give me the I hate everything synopsis. I can't remember his entire video. I just know that he doesn't hate it as much as the Smosh movies, but he likes the Fred, the first Fred movie more. And that there are genuinely things that got him to snicker during the movie, unironically, but he wouldn't call it fun. Okay. Again, but I want, I really Logan want to Paul has a movie! Movie. movie! Yeah. I guess it was supposed to come out much earlier than it did, but because of the whole Suicide Forge controversy. Wait, wait, what year did it come out? I don't know! Well, it came out this year. In August. Oh, this year. Okay, so I was about to say, yeah, Suicide Forest happened 2016. Hi, everybody! Yeah, was... We're about to remember a stupid thing that fucked up every YouTuber on the planet. Thanks! I try to avoid it. Thanks, Logan Paul. Go fuck yourself with a cactus. Wait to find cactus. out that people find this video and hear me say, thanks, Logan Paul, fuck yourself with a cactus, and then his whole army of prepubescent angry fans who are foaming at the mouth, who sh don't even remember the sound of modem dial-up. Come and they're just, attack me. They're just jealous they don't get to watch you fucking with a cactus. Yeah. You turn into a strap and give them a real peg. With the cactus. No, don't peg the cactus. Peg the Logan. With the cactus. With the cactus on your strap-on. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Demasculate him and fuck him with a cactus. I, I, that's how you treat people. Yes, isn't he married? Logan Paul's married now. Oh, it's even better. Do it in front of his wife and cuckold. Or make his wife do it. No, he might get enjoyment out of that. It has to be some random stranger. Hi, internet. Hi, YouTube police. <laughs> bring it. Tom is, Tom's the bring it one. I'd like to keep my channel. <laughs> <laughs> then why do you bring me on? <laughs> because sometimes you are a wonderful human being. Sometimes? You entertain the audience. Well, good. I'm glad I'm useful for something. Now get off my lawn. No, go back to the soup store. No, I don't want to go back to sexual soup lady. Go back to sexual soup lady. So I want to read some of these just aloud, see what okay. people thought of it. I'm seeing a bunch of one out of tens, so... All right, Tom, when you read it out loud, you must do it in a prepubescent child voice. You have to do a funny accent for each one. You gotta I do can't a, do that. Do a funny accent. I can't. I have, like, three voices. They're not even good. Yeah. Do Frieza, then Dinobot, then Dinobot again, then Frieza. But Dinobot is just Frieza. <laughs> exactly. With a snarl sometimes. And then do Pillow Snape. But he... No. <laughs> Like I don't. I'm not a voice actor. <laughs> okay, fine. We'll call Prozid. Prozid, hi. <laughs> so this one was uh, written one out of ten. The collective IQ of the world has been lowered with the release of this film. Wow. It's nope. like they somehow distilled the very essence of cancer and then transformed it into video. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't feel sorry for that review, but damn, that's a... I mean... Go on. Genuinely the worst film I've ever seen. Oh, my I watched friend. this film thinking it would fall under the category of it's so bad, it's good. What's wrong with you? But honestly, it was just bad. Awfully dated internet jokes, abysmal acting, the works. One of the worst, if not the worst film I've ever seen. Don't waste your time on it. It ends in a comedy! <laughs> Welcome to Tom noticing commas. Uh, Welcome dated to, and unbearable. Welcome to Comma Hour, starring Tom. How are you doing today, Tom? This movie should have never came out. No, duh. It was shot. 
It was shot 2016 and released in 2019. The movie is unbearable to watch if you're over the age of 12. Absolute trash fire. That's well, not even a proper sentence, but at least I accept the eh, fact ends in a period. I was going to say, absolute trash fire. Name of name of Logan Paul's sex tape. <laughs> the worst. What name else of Logan Paul's sex tape Logan again. Paul after- <laughs> what else do you expect from Logan Paul after his fiasco in the suicide jungle in Japan? Forest. Bad movie. No punctuation. Forest, but yes. Suicide. <laughs> Welcome to the suicide. No, are there no, even will... jungles in Japan? <laughs> no, there are not. And we are not going to do a suicide jungle joke that you were about to do, Cat. No, 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 no. Cat <laughs> was going to do a joke in what we call it, what we call in the business, in bad taste. This one takes a shot at the producers and directors. I don't really want to talk about that one. No, no, no. Uh, Why not? Come on. Because it's boring. Nothing funny about it, aside from the lack of punctuation. Which no one I wasted see. 15 minutes of my life. What in the world was the director and producer thinking in making this abomination of a movie? Useless. 15 minutes of my life? I assume they probably watched the first 15 minutes of the movie and then just... Unless the movie's really only 15 minutes long, which I doubt. I mean, with all that plot soup? No, it, it has to be more than 15 minutes long. <laughs> I don't understand who could actually enjoy this movie. Nothing in this movie is close to funny or enjoyable. I don't know why they felt the need to make this movie. Uh, to make money from teenagers. That's you. See, the thing is, and someone actually explained this, why Jake Paul is quote-unquote popular and quote-unquote the loved son of YouTube. Okay, so YouTube, so Jake Paul can get this one part of YouTube that YouTube has issues getting. It's called the 14, it's called the, you know, 12 to 15 year olds. Especially. It's called the people that are barely old enough to even use YouTube properly. Yeah, and it basically it's the 12 to 15 year olds and trying to be hip with the kids and... Never do that, ever. Please don't be how, how you do, you fellow kids. The moment you try to make anything hip, you're dating it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Imagine if a film was so bad it could give you a terminal illness. Bullet point. Oh, good. I bullet wouldn't point. be surprised if this film did that. It's an actual death to watch. No, I've seen some pretty cool death. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, I mean, Death the Kid's pretty cool, badass. I mean, have you seen Halloween three? That's okay. got some cool kid death. Oh, I was gonna say, hey, Halloween three is pretty good when it's on its own and not compared to the other Halloweens, but. Yes, it does have very good kid death in it. 13. Wait, hold on. I gotta do some math. I have to do some math. Wait. 31 minus 11. 20 days till Halloween. 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 20 days till Halloween. Silver Shamrock. How did you have to think about that? Because I couldn't remember. How- Halloween's date doesn't change. <laughs> no. It's one of the few days that don't. <laughs> Tom, don't ruin the whole. I technically forgot how to subtract ten, subtract eleven from freaking thirty-one. Okay. Uh, anyway, twenty days. Please, for your own, please, from your own sake, don't watch that disgusting thing. Dot dot dot. I have never seen many movies in my lifetime. Comma, no space. That is that thing I watched caused. I don't that caused like just cause, not cause because. I don't want to even call it a movie. Was possible the worst thing I had. Wow, this is garbage. So, I've ever seen in my life. Comma, no, no space, not a period. No plot, no comedy, no nothing. It was a big nothing. Finally, proper exclamation point. But there's no space after, which just bugs me. A very cringe and garbage movie that you must not watch for sure. Dot, dot. I, I don't think the internet liked this movie. I don't think I like this review. <laughs> I agree with what they're saying, but I don't agree with how they wrote it. Did you read the review and get cancer from it, Tom? No. I would have just left my body anyway. Yes. Worst movie ever. Think of the worst never, wor- think of the worst movie you ever watched. Now think worse. Was this review helpful? Not really. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Please don't watch this movie. The worst movie ever. That's just a fact. I somehow managed to watch it for 15 minutes. That's wow, it's like fact. this. You know, it's like how you know people are like you have to try to watch the try not to laugh videos. This is like the try not to watch and throw up video. 
Try to survive bad movie me. Yeah. I don't th- think I can ever complete this movie. Uh, Gerard would be really sad with you. You have to shave your beard now. What? I already shaved my beard. An atrocious piece of filth. Oh man, we're getting some dry language I know. Atrocious Quite possibly piece the of worst filth? Piece of filth. Quite possibly the worst in quotations movie I've ever seen. The reason I put movie in quotations is because I see this as one big YouTube slash Vine compilation, which given how it's recorded makes a lot of sense. It's rather trash. Two, with two directors and four writers, including Jake and Logan, I should have known what I was getting myself. My and self are separate words. Into There's something that happened to me that genuinely has never happened any other time I've watched a bad movie. Puberty? I literally got anxiety to the point where I had to turn this piece of shit off. He tried to censor with the hashtag. Hashtag T. And watch it in two segments. Why did I put it back on? I don't fucking know. Also censor with the hashtag. Don't waste your time on this sewer drain of a movie. I'm gonna go watch Hot Fuzz. Okay, that's just a fact. This guy's just... He's done with this movie. He's gonna put it in the movie you. Much better movie. I don't know hot, if it's a good movie, but I was about to say, is Hot Fuzz really that much better of a movie? I don't know, but it might be. I don't know. I've never seen it. I don't know. I don't intend to. Either. It's Halloween. I want to watch spooky movies. Yes, let's all watch some spooky movies. Awful. The worst thing I've done this summer was give this abomination time out of my day. Abysmal cast with extremely dated humor. Whoever told them that screaming and dancing could substitute actual comedy should be thrown at an actual airplane, along with the cast. It legitimately makes me wish I had neurodegenerative Neuro- disease. That could... Neurodegenerative. Thank you. Disease that could liberate me from the pain memories of watching this film. Sometimes I figure out words for Tom without even looking at him. It's my super pa- one of my many superpowers I have. Well, I mean, it doesn't help that I can't read very good. Tom has dyslexia. Uh, yeah. Absolutely the worst. I've never seen a movie this bad. Bad acting, bad writing, etc. The movie is so loud, it feels like YouTubers think that loud equals funny, which it clearly doesn't. Squidward thinks so. Uh, no, 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 he tried that, and then he pointed out how f- that failed. Well, it's only because his bandmates were a fucking idiot. I'd like to point out, I, I will have to agree with that one review. A lot of YouTubers assume that loud does equal funny. It don't. It does. It equals loud. They don't understand that what makes it, they don't understand what's actually making it funny is the context of what's being presented loudly, not what the fact the person is just being loud. See, welcome to a we- waste of your time, and they spent. They spelled. They used the wrong version of waste. They spelled it like waste around your hips, not the waste of as like so trash waste. W a i s t, not w a s t. <laughs> so you're so a thick waste of your time. A disgusting movie full of immoral things that aren't funny. Immoral things that aren't funny. I think do they mean immoral. Immoral. Unless immoral is a word I don't know. Amoral about. does mean something. Um, hold on to the Google. Windows. Amoral. Amoral. A lacking of moral sense, unconcerned with the righteous or wrongness of something. Thank you, Google. So, so it's basically just immoral. In essence, yes. Okay. Delete this movie. Some movie may appear good from the trailer, but disappoint you when you watch. Period. This one, colon, a bad trailer and worse movie. Where are people Space watching this mate. movie? Is it like on Netflix, Hulu? I I assume that these are either people that got really upset with actually and they actually watched it, or these people are just coming here after. Uh... No, no, because these they're like done in these are done in early August when the movie actually came out. Like, where are they this... watching this movie? Amazon? Where? Because like, again, cat, you it... have a lot of ad blockers on, so you don't have to see Jake Paul's ugly face. I mean, I. Th- mm. I think it's a possibility it might be like a they might have done like a Netflix thing or like a YouTube red thing. Where I was going to say it, it had YouTube. to be YouTube red. It had to be. It smells like YouTube red. I wouldn't know what that means. Tom doesn't know how to smell. No, I know how to smell. I just can't. Anyone over the age of 12 wouldn't be able to go further beyond the fifth, first 15 minutes. Wow, that's a common trend. Unless he, that's racist, uh, not racist, sexist, sexist, was in some kind of bet or something. 
Lastly, this movie represents everything that a comedy should not be. Zero out of ten. Then why'd you rate it a one out of ten? Tom. Tom. I know it's because you can't rate it zero out of ten, but... (laughs) Then don't... (laughs) Tom, you're doing that thing again. I can't help it. I'm a cynical asshole. We know you're a cynical asshole. Welcome to the Oh cynical... dear, again. <laughs> Welcome to the what cynical... is with these films? This one goes back to 2017 and f- being floated again, but it's a Titanic of a film. Aye, aye, aye. Just Titanic a bad, was a good movie. <laughs> well, they're saying we're because it crashed. Far, wherever you are. Sorry. <laughs> Just a bad and horribly spoof of the well-known, and I say, cold classic airplane. Which is I a bet good the movie. budget was six, was six digits. It was low, but not low enough. I mean, seriously, is anyone writing or even reading scripts anymore? Exclamation point, not a question mark. How these sort of films keep getting made is a mystery. Oh, I can answer that mystery for you really easily. It's called... Tax fraud. Tax fraud. I mean, that's how UA Bull did a lot of shit movies. He was basically... He found a a loophole in German... uh, German tax money, and he basically made these shit movies as a way to basically get a tax write-off. Yeah, video game movies are made in the same way. That's well, that's what U.A. Bull did. He did those video game movies. He did Blood oh. Rain, he did uh, Alone in the Dark, he did... Probably did that Mortal Kombat movie, too. No, he didn't. That was a different director. Well, maybe I'm thinking Street Fighter. I don't know. There's so many of those bad movies. Street Fighter, he didn't do either. He did a lot of the bad... Hor- bad um, a lot of bad movies... Mid to early two thousands and like late nineties. I think, in my honest opinion, of all the video game movies I've ever seen, the uh, the ad I think Advent Children probably reflects what I think of most when it comes to uh, Final Fantasy Seven and Final Fantasy in general. Wait, wait, wait! I I'd like. Wait, is Advent Children the one that they're trying to find the spirits? I don't know. I never saw it. I just know it had Cloud fighting Sephiroth. Nope, that's not the one finding the spirits. Because there is a um, there is a Final Fantasy movie, and I kind of like it, but not in a. It's a Final Fantasy movie. I like it in a do not it, it, it do not connect it with Final Fantasy. And I, it was a movie that got me into three D into three D art. Okay, so shut up. <laughs> My only complaint: it doesn't properly reflect Final Fantasy. There's not enough hallway. Yes, Tom. Never enough hallways for you. No, but um, Final Fantasy. Final hallway. Fantasy. The. I can't believe I'm doing this to Google again. Na, 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 na. Awful. Please, no matter what you do, do not waste your precious time on this film like I've ever like I wasted mine. Uh, I promise you that it's so terrible that it is better left forgotten. That's why I'm reminding you people that it exists. No, see, that's not the one I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Final Fantasy Spirits Within. This movie got me into 3D art and shit. Shut up. <laughs> and it's only rated three stars on IMDb. <laughs> and it hurts me oh, so. Oh, I like this one. Ready? Text. That's what the title is called. Text. Oh. My grandfather smoked his whole life. I was about 10 years old when my mother said to him, if you ever want to see your grandchildren graduate, you have to stop immediately. Tears welled up in his eyes and he realized what exactly was at stake. Oh, I love he gave these up, people who did He gave up immediately. Three years later, he died of lung cancer. <laughs> it was really sad and destroyed me. My mother said, don't ever smoke. Please don't put your family through what your grandfather put us through. I agreed. At 28, I have never touched a cigarette. I must say, I feel slightly... I feel a very slight sense of regret for never done it, because this movie gave me cancer anyway. (laughs) Wow. I don't know how to feel about people who... All that for a goddamn... I mean... There was no... It's funny. But, like, I don't know how to feel about people who do cancer, who goes, this so-and-so gives me cancer. I don't know how to feel about it. Like Because everything gives you cancer these days. All someone has to say, don't do that, it gives you cancer, and it becomes instantly scientific fact. Well, fun factoid, um, in California, yes, Kai, I'm trashing on your state, and I know you're not watching this, so I can do it. Um, in California, they are required that if anything does have the potential of causing cancer, you have to put these warning, these may cause cancer signs. And they're everywhere in California. It's so to a level that the Californians just ignore it. There should be one on the inside of your door, so that before you step out of your house, you're like, oh shit, touching this door might give you cancer. No, 
It's basically memeable. But, like, apparently in every single coffee house in California, they are required by law to put that sign up. And people are like, why? Which caused a mass panic because apparently there's a small chemical within coffee beans that at the smite, tiniest little teeny tiny chance of giving you can You have a better chance of getting struck by lightning than eaten by and eaten by a shark at the same at the same time, okay? But there's a small Let's see, what else do we have? I'm gonna read a good one. There's no such thing as a good review when it comes to a Logan Paul movie. You know, you would think Logan Paul, it's like, I've gone through all this shit, I have a bad name, you know what I should do? I know, I'll fight someone. No, you don't want to, you know, improve your reputation? Nah, I just want to fight someone. Never, I, I was scrolling down and I found another good one. I have never contemplated suicide more during a film. <laughs> this was awful. Upon finishing, I immediately bathed in bleach. Oh, well, you're super clean after that, but I guess your dick might hurt. I was going to say, your ass The only is good bleed. part of the film is when the credits... Oh, Eesh, have you actually watched those credits? I think you might be exaggerating that. I'd rather watch two midgets in a bucket, eat it, and then vomit. Wait, I'd rather watch. Oh no, I said that right. I'd rather watch two midgets in a bucket, eat it, and then vomit it into each other's orifices than watch the movie again. Oh, they're gonna feed the midget. It's very kind of this man to feed the midgets. Question: Where did you get two midgets, and where did you find a big a, a bucket big enough to fit two midgets in it? That might be small little people, but they're still people. I was about to They're say, so the, one of those giant buckets you can buy at Home Depot, it clearly it clearly states, do not put your baby in it. It is only the size for one baby. Also, another question. You're putting two midgets in a bucket, and then you eat the bucket. Are you eating, you're, but you're not eating the midget, just the bucket. So why would you put them in a bucket and then eat the bucket? Obviously, you're still vomiting into their organs. Okay, Tom. So you didn't eat the midget. So why did you just get the, just eat the bucket? Tom. Don't put the midget in it first. Tom. 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 Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't smoke. This movie's giving you cancer. I'm not even watching this movie and it's giving me cancer. Hi, welcome to Cat Does Not Have Cancer. Everyone stop panicking. That we know of. Knock wood. Oh, here's a good one. Oh, there's another going after that. Oh, here we go. I'm this one's rated eight one. out of ten. I was about eight out of ten. Oh yeah, this isn't even this isn't even the one I'm looking forward to next. Honestly, I really enjoy, I found Logan about the incident, which is when I started to lose interest in him, and then I began to hate him. Like a real person should. Yeah, Though like before that, I heard about this film, researched anything that about it, and watched some vlogs of the people on set. And it really hyped me up. What? What? Then that happened, and I started to hate him. But you were already beginning to hate him, so you're starting now? However, regardless of me not liking Paul himself, I was still pretty excited for the film. I mean, that that's good. You can put the the dumb bullshit drama behind you and just watch a film for the sake of watching a film. Good I can point. give you some good, honest moral credit for that. Pe when people got pissy about the whole John Tron incident over ukulele, that pissed me off. Oh, I can understand God. The ukulele all that thing. stuff. I still don't. I'm like, I don't understand why people are mad. I mean, I get it. You're mad. I'm 100%. But I don't know the thing that he said to cause people to be mad. So therefore, I am simply in the dark. And if I admit that I was watching a JonTron video, I am apparently now as bad as JonTron. I'm like, dudes, I was just watching a show. No. Besides, I mean, even if that was whole incident he got removed from ukulele, is it really so bad? He was in Hat in Time. And that's arguably a better game, in my Wait, opinion. He was in Hat in Time? Yeah, I think he was one of the birds that ran behind the studio before you break it. I was going to joke saying, was he the egg seal? No, he was a bird. Oh. He should be. He, that's the only role he's designed for, a bird. Yeah. Did it look like Jacques? No. Aww. He looked like the other birds that were in that, that style. Anyway. How... Uh, yeah, okay. Going into the film when it finds... Sounds like he's been acting for impatiently for this movie. I had no idea what to expect. Turns out I really enjoyed it. Wow. I had, had a lot of my favorite YouTubers, including David Dobrik, who's my yep. favorite, King Bach, and Nacy Nish. 
I, I don't know. Just to name a few. People. I think I'm getting old now. I laughed at most of the jokes made too. Now, since these are most likely are mostly all YouTubers, I can obviously see how bad the acting is. Even though I don't like Paul, I can still give him respect for trying to make it outside of just YouTube. <laughs> One complaint I had have with the film is the outdated jokes, but you can't really blame them since they had to put it on a hold. Actually, yes, you can. You could just make a different movie at that. I just completely turned your 8 out of 10 into a fuck you. Let's read um, this 10 out of 10. Tom, um, don't, don't, don't turn people's things into fuck yous. <laughs> Crazy funny. This was an expected thrill ride. Super fun to watch with friends. Genius. My autistic 12-year-old loves Paul Brothers, and so do I, question mark? Okay, excuse I love me, millennial excuse humor, me, like me. dabbing and living. Sorry, um, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. As a person of the spectrum. Same here. You're, are you trying to equate that all people who are artistic like Logan Paul? Because I and Tom, both not being of the, uh, both being of the autistic persuasion, that sounds sexual. <laughs> I mean, did it have to seriously be about autistic? You could have just said, "My twelve-year-old loves the Paul brothers, and so do I." It would still make a sense. That would make sense as a sentence. It's like, yeah. I mean, it would still make sense with the autism, but did it have to specify that they were autistic? Because now you're just basically throwing shade on the autism thing and that's yeah, not cool you're with anyone sound who like has it or people who respect it. Yeah, it's like sounding like all autistic people like Logan Paul. We don't. We, I like, barely like anything. Tom doesn't like anything. The things I do like when I do say something really shocks people. Yes. I love yes. millennial humor like Dad and the Palms, whatever that is. Hope to see more from Logan Paul. Question? No, you don't. No, you don't. No, no. Why is this guy so unsure about this? Yeah, if you're unsure about things, see a doctor, and then he will tell well, I, you you are a moron. I guess I shouldn't have expected much from Harry B. Man. B. Man, human, human, human. Not that bad. The cuts are a bit hectic, and the storyline, in quotations, had to be get reignited quite a few times. Reignited. But there's plenty to snicker and a few bits to cringe over with, with a boring bit in the middle. All in all, in all quite descent. I mean, I'm sure you meant to say decent. I was about to say, he's supposed to be saying this. You would have been, you would have been almost there, but you added an S in there. You would have been so close. And there's definitely worse out there. Oh, I definitely agree. There's definitely worse movies out there than this. Oh, but, yeah. But oh, yeah. There's a movie still about a guy. Print. And there's a movie about. Actually, no. No, no. I'm not going to talk about the weird, weird movie shit that I have watched because of freaking YouTube video, because of reviewers. I didn't watch it, but I watched the reviews of, and... I discovered Echidna Wars through uh, YouTube, actually. What's Echidna Wars? It's a game about Vor. Ew. Yeah, complete with being eaten by slug dudes, bees, Wait. Spider. Oh. And some unbirth. Way. Because everyone loves shoving people in their cooter. Yes, because that is so fun. Said no one. I I I, I don't know. It it's a it's a weird I don't know why I found that on YouTube. It was just I had an autoplay feature on and like you See? know, it's fun because No 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 I actually no. like the autoplay. No, I, I'm laughing. It's like I had the auto feature on. You're like the you found the thing that parents worry to death that like their kids are gonna find if they leave autoplay on. Which you know, parents, if you fucking actually you know parented, your kid wouldn't find horrible shit. It's best not to expose your children early to internet anyway. Yes. Because it's the moment you tell someone something's bad, they're gonna want to do it anyway. Take it from someone who used to literally climb fences as a child Tom, to get in other don't... people's yards. Because someone said, don't do it. Tom, please do not poke the bear. <laughs> Too late. I'm dead. <laughs> That's basically Tom in a nutshell. Uh, Kinda, yeah. That's why we had to be on a leash. I, I You had to, because I got into shit all the time. I support kids on leashes. The movie is very funny. The movie is very fun. Do I, the, it's, it's bad it came out this late, but I love it. Everything is still relevant. No, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. If you got like 13 other people who are saying it hasn't relevancy. You want a movie that's still relevant? Have a movie about the whole in inappropriate flagging syndrome. That still goes on, and it was an issue back then, it still is. 
It oh. was, that is how you stay relevant. Yeah, I was about to say, the inappropriate, there is fair use in this, fucking come on. Or you want an even more accurate one, an even more accurate one? How about you make a movie about how bad the, about a movie company, let's say Disney, but we're going to throw a, a, a copyright name on it. So Fisbee. Because we'll, joke. Fisbee. And we'll call it Frisbee. A lovely little family corporation called Frisbee. They make their movies, and then they started making movies about live action stuff. And then all the fans got an upraise and went to war about it. That worked sense because that's what Disney's doing. That's relevant. That is that's an unintentional relevancy, and also we're doing kind of predictable. And that's pretty Tom, cool. Tom, like, Tom, oh man, this movie. Tom, Tom, <laughs> you're now thinking about what? how 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 freaking The Simpsons predicted Trump being president. Like, yeah. yeah that's the thing. I can understand if people find things funny. That's I don't have a problem with people finding some of the, the things in it. Even Alex said he likes some things in it. I don't have any issue with that. Okay, this one doesn't have a proper grammar. I waited so sn- I waited so song. G- 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 We're turning into that one YouTube channel who basically reads badly grammared, badly spelt (laughs) comments and shit on Twitter. We've turned into that now. Yeah, but the thing is, this is a movie that literally upset me. Like, even as bad as the Smosh movie was reportedly, I wasn't really, you know, as fun digging into it. But this movie bugs me in ways it really shouldn't. And I don't know what about it really bugs me. I mean, I guess, I guess they I had even... to release the mo- Like, okay, okay. When Logan Paul was denied, Logan Paul and Bo- and P- PewDiePie were both denied their YouTube, the continuation of the YouTube Red series. I was like, yes, they deserve it. Although yeah. apparently PewDiePie is better now. I uh, don't know. But when they were like, we're not going to show the series that you already filmed, I'm like. I feel sorry for the crew who had to work on that because, like, now the crew won't get any money. So I'm assuming it's, like, that standpoint, like, okay, listen, the crew already made this. Yes, Logan did some very naughty, naughty things, but the crew needs to get paid. And I think that's one of the big reasons why they produced it so late. So, one, they could get paid, and two, hopefully the backdraft of what, you know, he kind of did. I mean, it, it kind of was. Uh, I understand they gotta get paid, but they, they made it about that time period. It doesn't reflect well enough. Mm-hmm. When you watch a movie nowadays about the '80s or the '70s, it's. I mean, depending on the actual quality, it's it's fine because the '70s and '80s are long gone. It's supposed to be taken way out of time period. But when you watch a movie that's about modern culture that only happened a couple years ago, and- it's a lot more painful. And like some people have pointed out, meme culture and trends due to the internet, it goes quickly. Like some peop some artists in Artist Alley made shit for a uh, made Dream Daddy fan art to sell. And they couldn't sell any of it because Dream Daddy was no longer relevant by the time they went to this convention because, you know, everyone was on to the next thing. Yeah. Although there are still some people who do buy Dream Daddy content and then like Well there's cause the market for everything if you know where to look yes gay handsome muscular i'm gonna stop you right there please stop me <laughs> handsome gotta love the puns if you actually using the letter you don't know what logan paul's funny puns and outwardly sense of humor better exercise your brain on his youtube channel before going deeper really enjoyed it can't wait for a look can't wait for a second logan and the crew cast of a movie ex- no no punctuation at all except for the apostrophe s which isn't even used properly and they used you the letter instead of you y-o-u which is already Probably a sign re- of their maturity anyone who does that i go it's y-o-u not you we're not properly, on Twitter. We do not have a text limit. Properly, uh, probably written on a phone. Yeah, I know, but... Leave Logan Paul alone! This movie's hilarious, plus you can see all your favorite YouTube stars. Totally... I don't see my favorite YouTube stars on this video. I do not see... I do not see Decker Shadow. I do not see Rooster Teeth. I do not see... 
a bunch of others whose names I can't remember right now because I'm being put on the spot and it's like being asked your favorite book and you can't remember any the last three books you've read. But I guess that makes sense because considering the people you're listing are not uh, YouTube influencers. No, they're, let's see, Rooster Teeth does gaming and a lot of other shit. Uh, Decker Shadow does movie reviews and he does gaming now, but that's a separate channel. Um, long-haired creepy guy also he does movie review he does tv show reviews of classic tv stuff and then there's midnight wank theater which is interesting <sighs> uh, this like, is... and like then yes. i could be like and chugga conroy again gaming but he's like gaming that teaches you shit there's nitro rad who talks about old classic video games it's like yeah as you can tell, I have a very, very interesting, very, very interesting um, interest of interestingness. Tom, say something. Yes. Uh, most of the people I watch are just specifically, again, Let's Players. And of course, like, every now and then there's a video where someone talks about stuff. Uh, overly sarcastic productions. They talk about mythology and world history. Oh, I'm so much annoyed. Yeah, and I, I usually get flack for it, but I, I, I do watch Game Theory on ironically. You can see who one of the people is that gives him flack. No, you can't. We're for a voice call. <laughs> yes. No one can see my face, although they could have heard that grunt. That left my stomach. Uh, I didn't eat dinner. <laughs> Tom, eat dinner. Don't make me make you eat dinner. I don't want it. You're going to eat this pizza and you're going to like it. That's different, but that's not what dinner is. I have made Technicolor Blob Boob. Well, yeah, I've got uh, I've got people like uh, Naka Talili. He, I've been around with him for a while. Um, I'm more of a fan of the older uh, Nintendo Capri Sun more than his modern stuff. Is his modern cause... shit like 90% fart? I mean, it was bad back then, but now it's become a character trait now. Yeah. And it was before, I mean, he made the dick in your butt song. Dick in your butt. I, I'm also a person who follows Luca Jin, the runaway guys in general. Uh, Maisie, yeah, I do too. Ma- Maisie, Le- Not Ma- that one. Maisie, Chugga's girlfriend. <laughs> um, Didn't know you had one. What? Didn't even know he had one. I think Ma- Maisie's his girlfriend. I think. I don't know. I don't either. I, I don't follow their love lives. Although, apparently, if you find out a member of Rooster Teeth is pregnant, that's all they're going to talk about for the next nine months. Ugh. I'm okay with this. I'm not. I know you're not. Yes, because they kept comparing the size of their fetus to food. Do you know how annoying it is? Like, our fetus right now, at this day, is the size of popcorn, and I'm sitting here eating popcorn. Like, really? You gotta ruin my popcorn like that? <laughs> you, you gotta... Eh. You gotta I mean, I guess it doesn't really surprise me too much. I mean, expect the guy with the pregnancy fetish to say that anyway. Yeah, well, oh, well. there goes our monetization. We don't have that. No, we don't. I am not qualified for it anyway. Because apparently I don't have enough people watching. Well, it's no, it's I have enough subscribers. It's I don't have enough watch time. It's basically people aren't watching my videos long enough. But that's the problem is I make short ass videos. Yeah, so there really is no winning. That's why I don't try to win. No, the only way to win is to not play at all. Exactly. Don't play the game if you can't. If you're not going to try to win, I'm not try- even trying to win. I just want to most stuff and. Tom just With some to exception, do, Tom I try. just wants to do videos of Attack the Light and then make me freaking give my opinions about Steven Universe, which all are slowly no longer becoming positive because I'm being hypercritical like usual. But that's just who I am, so I'm just used to kind of... Like, even now, I'm preparing for the Stardew Valley stuff. Oh, God, the Stardew Valley. I just, I wanted to... But unfortunately, in order to actually get the mod that I need, want... To fuck with just for can you showing get, Shrubby had actually. Play. I was going to say, can you please get the mod which basically turns uh, walkways into like a piping system? Pretty please with sugar on top. I need to actually show Shrubby how to play the game first. All right, all right. But I'm just saying. We can worry about mods that we want to install later. 
But the first problem we have here is the Nexus Mods form doesn't let you download mods unless you're a member. Well, that, and you can, you, you don't have to use, oh, right, the downloading bit, yeah, but you have to install, you can't, you have to install them a certain way. And I already have, I already have the quote-unquote mod loader. I haven't installed it yet, but I have it. You have the I, mod loader for Nexon, or are you talking about the mod loader for, uh... I have SMAPI. Yep. I have the most recent version of that. Hi, welcome to Now We're Gonna Stop Talking About Logan Paul and Talk About Modding. <laughs> well, that's easy. I've never done it. Next topic. Literally, all the modding stuff I have Shrubby do for me, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I mod like crazy now. Thanks, Kai. You got me into modding, and I hate you for it. Guy goes... Like, no, and then Kai goes, but doesn't your Bethesda game run better now? Yeah. So the only mod I want to get for the tutorial series with Shrubby is I want to get the CJB item spawner. What's that? Mod, which is basically just like creative mode in Minecraft, where I can just pick stuff I want to put in my inventory. Uh -huh. So that way I don't have to actually play a, 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 a world to get things ready for him. Just be like, okay, here's everything. Here's what the differences are. Do it. Get used to it. Okay, now we're going to start a new file and you're not going to have any of these cool upgrades. Have fun. Oh, by the way, Cat is going to be running over your plants all the time. Oh, you better fuck not. You already trashed my crops last time. I but once the multiplayer update ha once yes you did. You literally killed one of my crops and I lost experience for it. No 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 I took your crops. I did not crap I did not run over them, okay? And even if they went missing, it's most likely because of bird and or lightning bolt. With all those scarecrows around on our server, I doubt that's the problem. <laughs> and a lightning bolt, again lightning rod. Sexy lightning rod. Don't ask how it's sexy. We shaped it's a it like rod. I was gonna say we shaped it like a dick. Either way, no, the point is I literally watched you do it and then you, you apologized for it. Yes. But I, I was still mad at you because that was literally my experience. You stole. And I no one even got it. I know, but that's <laughs> kind of frustrating. And that's why I'm having the the map be of the four corners. So none of that can happen again. But we can't work together now. You you can still work together. You just don't have you know, less chance of anyone being an asshole to each other. I will be an asshole and I'll have fun with it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just randomly drop scarecrows into your house. Why would you put scarecrows in my house? Can you even put scarecrows in your house? I don't know. I've been tested recently. I'll just randomly put potted plants in your house. Why would you do that? It's hard enough to play the game as it is. Randomly put ha pa plants in your house. Don't. I like my house being empty until I upgrade it for having. Upgrade it for waifu. Totally. Lesbian bang or bust. Uh... But I guess that depends who gets them first. Tom. Tom, Tom. 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 Tom, 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 Tom. Tom. Yes? Tom. What? <laughs> Stop saying my name and not saying anything. No. Tom. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> no, but like, seriously, why does Logan Paul have a movie? Why don't I have a movie? Um, because we're not entertaining people. Um, for excuse one. me, I'm very entertaining. Ask my YouTube following. Which are three dead moths and a cricket. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sad. Is that the most recent version? Yes, it is. Yes, Tom, I am the most... This is the most recent version of my depression. Hi. Will this please... Say Tom's name, say Tom's name. Please don't. You know you want to eat a giant chicken. I don't trust this website. Uh, let's you don't see. trust anything, Tom. I don't. Tom doesn't even trust Logan Paul. Although, would... I'm certainly not going to trust a person like that. I was about to say, I wouldn't even trust him with a dead goldfish. I don't even trust myself with a dead goldfish. It... Oh, he'd, be, be sitting in the, he'd be sitting in the bowl, but like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll flush him tomorrow. I'll flush him tomorrow. I'll flush him tomorrow. Hey, what's that smell I can't smell? I'll flush him tomorrow. Hey, are you still okay? 
I'll flush him tomorrow. Welcome to Tom's brain. And <laughs> chill. The only downside is I've been saying that for the past five minutes. It hasn't actually passed any days. I'm just... <laughs> Tom, do you want to see our little blob boy? Um... That depends. It's it's a muck. You know his name is come back right there. Tom, what are you? Five? Twelve. Eleven. <laughs> well he's not bad. He's not fully done yet. I have to get I have to uh what's Muck's uh, number in the Pokedex? Come on, Tom, I know you know this. Uh, I don't know their numbers based off the top of my head. I recognize their sounds more than and that doesn't help us in this situation. No, it does not. Muck is 89. All right. <laughs> okay, for those who don't understand, I have the sprites to the Pokemons. The only problem is they're, num they're not listed by name, they're listed by number. Unless you're going for the 3D models and then they're listed by names. Which I really, really... Really don't like doing. Say Shrub's name. Say Shrub's name. All right, you have to put a zero in front of the eighty-nine. Here, Tom, drink this juice. Um, I have my own juice. Is Evie holding it? No, it's my juice. Is Evie holding it? No, it's my juice. Why is everyone trying to steal my juice? Because <laughs> Evie's thirsty and has thumbs. <laughs> but it has its own juice. It doesn't need to steal mine. Yes, it does. Thievery! It's expensive juice. Evie uses thief. <laughs> it's super effective. Not against another dark type like me. Yeah. Hey. I love my my stinky boy. The amount of effort I'm going through for this stupid joke. It's not done yet, but uh, Tom is here. Tom is there. Look at our stinky child. And he's definitely stinky, all right. Yep, he's ripe, if you will. Now I'm just doing a little fun squiggly pattern. Wait, really? Pokemon 69 is Bell's. Why are you looking up which one's number 69? I just wanted to see how ironic it was. And of course, it was the tentacle plant monster. Hey, Tom, look up number 666. 666? Mm -hmm. The same. The devil's number. You know how many clicks that would take? A lot. Just type in six six Pokemon six 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 on Google. Come on, Tom, I believe in you. Oh, it's Vivian. Uh, where is my symmetric ruler? There it is. So the mark of the beast is a butterfly. I thought the mark of the beast was a bird. Well, at least it's a good butterfly. I mean, it's still kind of shit, but... Tom has a fair many opinions when it comes to Pokemon. I don't like Pokemon. Bug Pokemon, they're not, unless you use a very select few bug Pokemon are actually considered good. Joltek! I was going to say Heracross. But... Heracross is a very good Pokemon. I, I, I use him often. Pip Pip, Cheerio, Spleens. Uh, at least they confirm, uh, at least now I know, a, I'm probably going to end up getting Shield whenever that you just, just want like, the, you just want the Eevee. Um, what Eevee? I mean, you just want the butt. 
I want the Ponyta, and I don't care about Sir Farfetch'd. I don't either. But now it's like someone jokes saying, it's now goth versus, it's now goth versus jock. And I'm like, yes. I don't get that. Tom, become a goth and you will understand. No. I might be depressed, but I would never consider myself a goth. No, that's and I I like black, but I don't want to wear it all the time. I know I got to do it for work. I was about black to say, so Tom, I wear black all the time. <laughs> Yeah, and when I first met my friend, so did she. And now we live in Florida. People are like, how can you do that in Florida? In determination. It's a life choice. Determination. I'm training for the Olympics. The Olympics of what? <laughs> Sweating. Who, who doesn't die in the heat? Go! <laughs> why, did we, why did we put this in the Sahara Desert every year? Because we, because the audience was getting bored. What you don't see is they're just on a TV screen and everyone else is in an air-conditioned room like at the actual stadium. We wanted to push the boundaries of Survivor into a sport. So we shoved him in a deadly desert. See who dies last. Welcome to our life. I'd pay for that sport. No, I wouldn't. You would, so. Uh, not really. There are a lot of fun deadly sports that I would, but not that one. You don't want to play for the pay for the deadly sport of death? Ooh, careful. Anyway, careful. Uh, audience, if I do keep the recording in this, I might, just because of how hilarious we went through. Um, enjoy the muck. I worked very hard on him. Tom, you have anything to say? Um. Please try not to say anything that will piss off the censors. I don't have anything nice I could say right now, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Uh, don't watch Logan Paul's movie, kid. Please don't watch Logan Paul's movie, kids. Watch It'll give you can. Watch the original Airplane from the 1980s. Enjoy some classic comedy. People like that movie. I haven't seen it. Don't worry, I'm kidnapping Tom from his radio tower and going to make him watch it soon. And good luck with that. I'm trying to finish the movies I have first. I've seen I've seen Friday the 13th. I'm working on Halloween. Are you going to watch all the Fridays? Uh, and I only want to watch the first one for the time being. It was easier to find. Okay, but I was about to say, you got to watch like the second and the third one. That's when Jason becomes... Jason. A character? Yes. <laughs> yes. Literally, then, all that was there was spooky grandma. And yes, I know she's not actually a grandma, but she's clearly related to Jason. And Jason wasn't even really even in the first movie. That's Pamela Voorhees, his mother. Mother. I, I know that she's the mother because I've seen the Friday the 13th game. But I was expecting some, you know, Jason, the guy on the fucking cover art. <laughs> he not wasn't... psycho grandma who couldn't be fucking killed. I'd like to state, Your Honor, he wasn't on the original cover art. They only put him on there because, you know, he became popular. No, the second movie... Oh, so he... this, so the cover art that I have, the Blu-ray, is not even <laughs> right. <laughs> Technically, no. But it's still the original movie. Technically, yes, again. <laughs> what the fuck, guys? It was not worth seeing a couple seconds of boob for. <laughs> I mean, there were a good couple seconds of boob, but not <laughs> worth it. You got to see Kevin. If I wanted to see, yeah, wanted to see yeah. Boob, I could watch porn. It's much easier and cheaper. What comes to Tom now reviews movies? I don't fucking review movies. I just talk about them. No, I, I just would like to state, Your Honor, while we're still staring at this image of Muck, nope, uh, Jason becomes the killer in the second movie, and then he dons the original hockey mask in the third movie. Uh, the... Fourth one is technically the end of Jason. The fifth one is not Jason. The sixth one is when he comes back and he goes up again. Sixth one is when he goes up again. There's one where he basically goes against a against a psychic chick. Who it's basically Jason versus Carrie, if you will. And that's the one before the one he goes to New York, which is not even really set in New York. It's set in Vancouver. It, it okay, was filmed so in Vancouver. Basically. In order to get the quote-unquote full canon story of Jason, I have to at least watch the first four movies. In essence, yes. But you still have to watch... Two, three, and... 
But you still have to watch the other ones as well so you can enjoy the crazy insanity that happens when Jason comes back from the dead. No, that's not, that's, not, that's, not, that's not the experience. No, you just want original human Jason before he comes an undead monstrosity. Okay, fine. Um, no, I just want to see. I just want to see the originals the way they're meant to be seen, so that people can be like, "Oh, you haven't seen this yet? Aren't you? Aren't, I thought you liked." Like, yes, I like horror, but I was shut out from the world as a child. Tom lived on and a commune. A... No. <laughs> Although just... Tom, you are less sheltered than Tamara from uh, Nostalgia Critic. From what I. Seen that's hard. I, I find that really hard to believe no. that someone like me is somehow less sheltered. Tom, you know someone who is Tom. You knew someone who never knew what Pop Tarts was until this year. My ex was so stupid. How do you not know what the fuck a Pop Tart is? <laughs> and on that final bombshell, it's fucking Pop Tart. Good night, everybody.